internet, welcome to Wasted. Plastic beverage containers. Nearly a million are sold around the world every minute. How do we ensure that these in instrumental vessels are handled responsibly after use? And another important question is, who should be responsible? Should it be us, the consumers, the corporations who manufacture them, or our governments? So far, most developed countries uh, have placed the burden on the consumer and the government. They've done this by creating a, a refundable deposit system. In this system, consumers pay a deposit when they buy a drink, and they get it back when they return the bottle. In Denmark, it's called pant. Consumers pay an extra 15 to 30 cents every time they buy a beverage. That is about double what they pay in the United States. This added value creates strong incentive for participating, or at the very least, it incentivizes others to clean up after you. Here in Denmark, there's fierce competition around the collection of beverage containers. Uh, some might even call it a micro-economy. The system is so easy and user-friendly that 90% of beverage containers with a deposit are returned and recycled. Which, uh, congratulations Denmark, that definitely deserves a round of applause. But hold on, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. That is a remarkable achievement and should be applauded, but in actuality, we're only talking about 3.5% of the total waste produced by the country. So what happens to everything else? Sometimes it gets sorted, sometimes it doesn't get sorted. Uh, either way, even if it gets sorted, it's not always getting recycled. The bottom line is a little depressing. According to our research, somewhere between 15 and 60% of Danish waste gets recycled. The rest is incinerated to produce hot water and renewable energy. For a country that's such a leader in the sustainable arena, it was remarkably difficult to find a clear statistic on this number. Denmark needs to radically improve the percentage of waste being recycled to meet their own and the EU's climate goals. Luckily, there's some positive trends, like minimizing or reducing unnecessary package or even zero waste stores where everything is sold in bulk. Join us next week as we try to get an inside look into the plastic sorting and processing facilities here in Denmark. And we want to hear from you. Please comment below about a world that you envision where corporations are responsible for handling this thing responsibly. Do you uh, think that that's something that should be done or do you think that's unobtainable? Please add your comments below. Let's start a dialogue and see what everybody thinks. Thank you.